My name is Nathan. Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. David's been thinking about Beyond for a very long time, in fact, maybe 20 years. He made me read a short story he wrote when he was a teenager that was about a girl having a link with an entity and special abilities. Beyond was also about um, talking about death, I would say, in a different way. Um, I was confronted with the loss of someone in my family close to me. And, and it was really a, a shocking experience, very, really brutal. I wanted to tell a different story and not talk about death the usual way, I would say, but really deal with death as uh, something that has a physical reality and that, that can be explained. Is he a ghost? Or a spirit of someone who passed away? I had the story in mind, I was starting to take notes, and I'm used to um, look for pictures of actors. And the first image I found for this character of Jodie was uh, a picture of Ellen. She looked really strong. She seemed to know what she wanted. But at the same time, there was something fragile and vulnerable in her eyes. And that was for me exactly the definition of Jodie Holmes. As I was writing, I had more and more pictures of Ellen in my scripts, and, and after a while I realized that I was writing a role for Ellen. I've been fortunate to be working since I was pretty little, and to really, truly step into something that is <laughs> so new and so scary, but also exciting. I hadn't done something like this before, so uh, yeah, I was curious. I like the relationship. Uh, of the uh, Dawkins character uh, to the Jody character. I like the arc of what happens to them, the fact that it takes over uh, 15 years. Jody. There are lots of um, possibilities for lots of uh, complexity and lots of interesting uh, subtleties and uh, takes on their relationship. I didn't to be different. I just want to go out and, and have friends and be like other girls my age. You'll never be like them. You need to get used to that. David came to LA and we spent like an afternoon going through everything. And um, you know, it's you know, usually when you you know you go into a movie, you're dealing with this like um a hundred-ish page script. And you know, this is ultimately a two thousand page script. I remember just being in my <laughs> with like these stacks of scripts and being like, how do I be, how, where does one begin here, you know? It's hard to keep track because of the interactive uh, aspects of the game, the striking go lots of different ways. That was something that was really hard for me to wrap my brain around as we're shooting. This shooting was a lot of pressure because of the presence of Alan Page and Willem Dafoe. Uh, we knew we would have a limited time and that we, we wanted to be efficient. So uh, we worked maybe three, four months just preparing the sessions and making sure we know pretty much hour by hour what, what we would do and that everything would fit in the, in the schedule. When you come here, you just have all these cameras all around, but there is no set, no wardrobe. So you're just pretty much naked it's on set and you need to say, call. okay, give I... me your lines and, and make me believe in what you say. And when you look around, I want you to feel like you see something and you know where you are and you know what's going on around you. I can't make it! You can't, Jimmy! Come on, jump! I'm, I'm gonna die! I know I'm gonna die! I don't think I realized when I signed up for it just like how much of an incredible experience this was going to be as an actor. Uh, I mean, it's been like some kind of crazy acting boot camp or something, you know? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I should have never sent you in there. I was so afraid I had lost you. It was a year in shooting, shooting pretty much every day. It was about 160 actors uh, on set. It's about four or five hours of dialogues. It's about 50,000 unique animations. It's about 15,000 shots, unique camera shots. So it's it's crazy amount of work. Because the player is making you know, the choices of where they want the story to go, you, you could be having essentially like four different conversations at once and you know, you're kind of filming it all but you're filming it linearly, you know? So it's such an interesting thing and, 
You just, you just do it. It's difficult, but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. No one can tell me what to do with my life. I don't care what you think. I'm not going anywhere. You can tell the CIA to fuck off because I'm not going anywhere. It's like any movie or working with any great director. You want to, you want to um, realize their vision. The, the pleasure for me uh, as an actor is not interpreting something. It's really becoming the material. And it really is serving someone's vision and then making it my vision. And it excites you because you, um, you have new energy when you um, have a shift of understanding or, sh or you catch someone else's passion. I was here to help actors to understand to what point in the story they were in what emotional state the character was at the time and what's going on around them. So it was a very, very, very interesting uh, work, I think, for, for any director. Thank you.